Hi, my name is Paul White. I'm from the University of Manitoba's Department of Biomedical Engineering. In this work, we explore the use of virtual reality in helping treat Alzheimer's disease. Our research goals were to determine whether an individual with early-stage Alzheimer's disease could learn to navigate in a simple VRN environment, and whether that training could also bring real-life cognitive benefits. The VRN building is a featureless virtual building with no interior landmarks. The participant is shown a target window from the outside of the building that they must navigate to from inside the building. We analyzed the participant's path to determine how disoriented they were. In this work, the participant was trained to navigate in the VRN building in two phases. In the first phase, the participant only navigated to windows on the second floor, and each window was repeated, once with guidance and tips from the examiner, and once without any guidance. In the second phase, the participant navigated to windows on both the second and third floors, but each window was selected just once, with no guidance, unless the participant had become completely lost. The VRN building was originally developed by our biomedical engineering department to study the degradation of spatial cognition in people who were exhibiting mild cognitive impairment and early dementia. These are often precursors to Alzheimer's disease, so they can be useful predictors. We use a customized wheelchair to map the participant's real-world motion one-to-one -one into the virtual world. When paired with an Oculus Rift DK2 headset, this makes for a very immersive experience. Good job! When we started the treatment, the participant could barely locate any of the windows in the house and became lost and confused. By the end of the treatment, he could locate 100% of the windows with no errors. His family also reported benefits in his life at home, including improved navigation and concentration while driving. Thank you for your attention.